Let's solve one previous question of set theory. This question was asked in GATE CS 2019, question number 5. Let u equals to 1, 2 till n. Let a equals to x, x order pair such that x belongs to x and x is a subset of u. Consider the following two statements on a cardinality. Two statements are given. Which of the M of statement is or are true and four options are given. So here you contain numbers starting from 1 till N. It's too big. So rather than analyzing such big sequence, I'll prefer to analyze a small sequence. Let N equals to 2, then you will contain just 1, 2. Now when U equals to 1, 2, what X will contain? So this uppercase X that is the all subset of U. X is a subset of U. So this X can be 5 subset of every set, 1 and 2 are subset of this and this set itself. Now what small X will contain? Small X can be 1, 2. So for uppercase X there are 4 possibilities. For small X there are 2 possibilities. It can be 1 and 2. Now what a can contain so for a these are the possibility like it's a order pair of x and x so this x can be 1 2 and this x can be 5 or 1 or 2 or 1 2 so it can be 1 5 then 1 1 1 2 1 1 2 then 2 5 2 1 2 2 2 1 2 there is another condition that x should belong to x. Here 1 doesn't belong to 5. This 1 belongs to 1. This 1 doesn't belong to 2. Then 1 belongs to 1, 2. 2 doesn't belong to 5. 2 doesn't belong to 1. 2 belongs to 2. 2 belongs to 1, 2. So set A will contain 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. Then 2, 2. 2, 1, 2. So cardinality will be 4. And we will reject all these as x doesn't belong to x. So when n equals to 2, a cardinality equals to 4. When n will be 3, you will contain 1, 2, 3. Then what a will contain? a will contain 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3. Here you just mark the first element belongs to the second. Then 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Then 3, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3. So A cardinality equals to 12. Now for N equals to 2 we found, N equals to 3 we found. For N equals to 2, A cardinality equals to 4. For N equals to 3, A cardinality equals to 12. Now just put in the first statement. So let n equals to 2 now 2 multiplication 2 power 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so 2 multiplication 2 is 4. When n equals to 3 3 multiplication 2 power 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 power 2 4 4 multiplication 3 is 12. It's working. So first statement is true. Now check second statement. A cardinality equals to summation of k equals to 1 to n, k, n, k. Now for n equals to 2, so c to 1, it will be 2 factorial divide 1 factorial 2 minus 1 factorial. It's 2 plus 2 multiplication c to 2. c to 2 will be 2 factorial divide 2 factorial multiplication 2 minus 2 factorial. So 2 factorial, 2 factorial, it will be cancelled. It's just 2. 2 plus 2, it's 4. Now check for n equals to 3, it will be 12. So we found both statements are true. Both 1 and 2 are true. This is one way of solving. We just took small example and we applied the formula in statement 1 and 2. And we found that both are true. Another way u equals to 1 to n and a is the order pair x x x belongs to x and x is a subset of u 
so x cardinality can be 2 power n n0 n1 n2 till n n x can be any element of individual subset of x so from n it can be 0 like it can be 5 it can be one element it can be two element it can be n elements now a cardinality will be n0 multiplication 0 n1 multiplication 1 n2 multiplication 2 n n multiplication n that is equivalence to n multiplication 2 power n minus 1 so by this directly we found this formula that it is n multiplication 2 power n minus 1 this n0 means from set n we are choosing 0 then n1 means from set n we are choosing one element here two element n element and if you compare both statement contain this so both 1 and 2 are true it's present in option c so answer will be option c if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you